what is going on guys welcome to your 11th Ruby tutorial and in this lesson I want to talk to you guys about string functions and actually come to think of it before I get started I want to mention this I often say methods instead of functions and functions instead of method that's because all programming languages they call them something different but whenever I say functions I usually mean methods and I know that might confuse you guys but it's a bad habit I got from programming in a lot of different languages so I guess you guys just got to kind of get used to it. So you know how I said a couple tutorials ago that all numbers are actually objects and these objects belong to the fixed num class? Well, I want to mention this in this tutorial. Strings are actually objects too. Now whenever I say string, I just mean a string of text. A bunch of letters put together like mm, bacon. This would be an example of a string, just a bunch of text. So if we go ahead and run the class method on this, we can see that all strings belong to the class, did I say callus? Class string. Not the baking class, which you may think. Baking class is not an actual class, the string class. Now classes are made to have attributes and also methods. So let's go ahead and run some methods on some strings. Now the first method I want to talk, talk to you guys about is something called the length. Now if we go ahead and type a string like mm, ham slammers, it's my favorite type of slammers, we can use a dot length in the whenever we hit enter. What this is going to give us is the length of the string. So if we count up all the characters in mm, ham slammers, it ends up that we have 18 characters. So that's what dot length returns to us. So now let me go ahead and show you guys another one. If we type in something classy like slam, wow, definitely messed that up, slam jelly pockets, and we go ahead and write up case, what this is going to do is it's going to take this string and change it all into uppercase. Check it out. Slam jelly pockets turned into slam jelly pockets. Pretty cool, huh? So let me go ahead and show you guys a couple more methods before I let you guys go. Just like addition, remember in whenever I was talking about numbers being object, the plus sign pretty much added two numbers together. Well, whenever we use the plus sign with strings such as hello and something like my fair, if I can type fair lady, what this does is it pretty much ties two strings together. So now you have hello my fair lady in one big string. So that's what the plus sign does whenever you're working with strings. Um, another cool thing is, what's a cool word that we can reverse? Evil? Check this out. Whenever you use the reverse method, and that's just using a string, the dot separator then typing reverse, it takes your string and if you guys can't guess what this is going to do, reverses it. So evil turns into live. And by the way, in the comment section below, tell me guys some cool words that we can reverse and they turn into other words. I want to, you know, see who comes up with the best one. And the one who does gets a, I don't know, I'll give them like a slam jelly pocket or something. So the last thing I want to mention is that you can also chain string methods together. So we already know that you can type something like evil.reverse and whenever you hit enter it prints out the reverse of evil which is L-I-V-E -E, live or live depending on how you say it. But you can also write dot upcase something like this and now what this is going to do is it's going to run multiple methods on this string. So not only is it going to reverse it but it's also going to uppercase it as well. Is that even a verb, uppercase it? Hey, it's a verb in my vocabulary. So go ahead and hit enter, and it now reversed it, L-I-V-E, and it also changed it all to uppercase, L-I-V-E, live, live, tomato, tomato. So anyways, that's all you guys get for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I wanna teach you guys how you can create a method that doesn't belong to any class. It's going to be mystifying, amazing, and awesome. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.